Arr, my bras. Today, we have another video. So there's a trend going on TikTok, a pretty horrible trend at that, of medical professionals putting their phone down, recording them crying over a lost patient. And then they play sad music and just like walk around, pretend like they're doing something or like they're in distress during that moment that they decided to hit record. I'm just shaking my head. You would have thought, hey, like, you, you know, they're in the medical field, so they, they would at least have some type of, I, I wanna say common decency, a little bit of IQ points maybe. Before I go ahead and show the video, I do want you all to definitely hit that like button and subscribe if you are new because it's extremely important you support YouTube channels like this because I say things that other YouTube channels are extremely afraid to say. And also comment down in the comments section below. If you don't have anything to say, just simply comment for the algorithm or for the algo for short. With all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show the video. This nurse has just lost a patient. Overwhelmed with emotion, she leans against the wall. Then she removes her mask and tries to shake it off. She still has five hours left in her shift. Her video is set to emotional music and her camera is positioned to capture her movements perfectly. But today the nurse finds herself under fire. Many people who've seen the video on social media are calling her self-promoting and the video cringeworthy. Now the debate is raging. Did she go too far? I had a lot of people die on my watch during the pandemic, and this type of performative garbage makes me furious, says one healthcare worker. Let me set up the camera so I can cry, goes another edgy remark. It seems to be part of a growing trend. TikTok is filled with healthcare workers posting their anguish after a patient dies. This nurse sits on the floor lamenting the death of her patient. This healthcare worker is in the hospital parking garage, overcome by grief. Some comments are supportive. I'm sure it's hard to lose a patient. Sometimes you just want to feel seen. At the height of the pandemic, America fell in love with hero healthcare workers and their videos showing how they stay. Here we go again. Another artard, another victim. So she said, hey, let, let me go ahead and record myself crying over a recently deceased patient. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I pick out some nice, sad music. And then the, imagine she messes up on her fake distress and then she has to re-record and act all sad again. Or, or maybe she had a bad angle. So she decided to once again act sad even more. Like why? What, why do you feel the need to record everything you do? And these are older women, mind you. Like, come on now. I don't know, if I was a family, I'd be pretty upset as well. And, and I get it, she did take care of the patient. Yes, she lost the patient. There's nothing wrong with mourning a patient, but to record yourself mourning and then put sad music on and then uh, upload it to TikTok, that, that's a little bit psychotic, don't you think? Like, it's, something's wrong. I personally believe that if you're that sad, you wouldn't even think of recording anything. You wouldn't even touch your phone. And I can already hear the weenies or the people that are extremely used to doing shit like what she did in that video, just defending her. B -b -b brutal everyone expresses their feelings differently. You know, she's just going through a lot. Just because you express your feelings a different way doesn't mean that she has express words like that. Shut the fuck up. If a patient passes away, you shouldn't be recording your reaction. That's disrespectful. Why do people act like it's rocket science? Someone passes, you don't grab your phone. You don't post it publicly. I know medical professionals that have actually lost patients and they never thought of making a TikTok or posted it on their Instagram story or Facebook. It's only nowadays people feel the need of some type of validation or reassurance. And these are adults and they're raising the next generation and they themselves are retarded. So we have retards raising retards, idiots raising idiots. Brain cells are missing on a consistent basis. Every time I log on TikTok, I see something worse than the last. It's like people are having a competition on who can like do the dumbest shit ever. I hope she gets fired, honestly. Like, come on, bro. So the people that really don't agree with what I'm saying, imagine if that was your relative that died and you know that was a nurse taking care of your relative. And then you scroll on TikTok and you see her making a TikTok video of her being sad and she puts sad ass music and she's walking all slow and shit about your relative dying or someone close to you dying. I just need people to have common sense, man. Like that that's really all I want for the world. I'm not saying you have to be a genius. I just want simple etiquette. There needs to be some 
some type of moral values with people because it seems nowadays that there's just none but other than that let me show think down in the comment section below this has been episode things brutal bringing you all another video definitely hit like and subscribe if you're new peace